Coach Mike here in the Coach's Corner. Cutting edge information you will not receive anywhere else on planet Earth. Unless now that I've posted a few of these, I have some other people that are stealing the information and publishing it as if they are the originator of the information. And if you get caught doing that, it's litigious. Yes, but okay, back to the lesson at hand. I need to help actors, that's my mission. Okay, casting services to use or not to use or of least importance. First of all, there's several casting companies I'm gonna run down to you here really quickly. All right, LA Casting, Actors Access, Casting Frontier, Now Casting, CAST, which is, I like to call CAST, but C-A-Z-T, iActor, and IMDB Pro. What's important? What should you use? What, should, what shouldn't you use? You can spend a lot of money. You know, some actors are signed up with all these services and they're paying like $150 a month in fees because they think all of these services are important. Let me break it down. Okay, LA Casting, great for commercials. Excellent, awesome, great for commercials. Your agent's gonna say you need to create a LA Casting profile. Uh, call LA Casting, email LA Casting. You're with my agency. They're gonna give you a code, right? You'll upload your information right that's if you're signed with an agent now when you go to their website lacasting.com it's going to say casting networks and that's the same company right it's the same now if you sign up independently here's what's going to happen you're going to have to pay a fee to join and of course you know you got to pay for hosting anyway represented or unrepresented if you put a reel up and then additional pictures you're going to have to pay for now if you sign up independently you only get to see about 30% of the breakdowns that are produced. Agency, 100%. Why? Because they're licensed by the state, fingerprinted, bonded, the whole thing, right? But you only get to see about 30%. But LA Casting, totally legitimate. Some folks don't know. I'm here to inform you. All right, Actors Access, right? They're mostly for, excuse me, theatrical. They're mostly great for theatrical. Now, they do some commercial casting but not a whole lot, not as much as LA Casting, right? Now, but your agent may still say, we need you to create three accounts, LA Casting, Actors Access, and Casting Frontier. Why? Because uh, LA Actors Access, there are four major casting directors that use Actors Access, four major CDs that cast TV commercials that use Actors Access, and they don't use LA Casting. I don't know why, something way back when LA Casting started, some feud between these four and Bobino, or maybe you don't call it a feud, I don't really know. Uh, if I could dig enough, I could maybe find out. It's not really that important. These four casting directors, what are their names? Craig Colvin, that's two C's, C-O-L-V-I-N, and Kathy Carlton, that's two K's. Uh, excuse me, Kathy Knowles. Let's get that right. First, Craig Colvin, two C's. Kathy Carlton is two C's, right? Two C's, Kathy Carlton, and then two K's, Kathy Knowles. Two K's are Kathy Knowles. Now, if you wanna know how to spell Knowles, it's the same as Beyonce, right? And then Joe Blake, all right? Let me run that down again. Craig Colvin, right? Kathy Carlton, and the two people have, Craig Colvin, two C's, Kathy Carlton, two C's, and then Kathy Knowles, two K's. If you want the spelling, it's the same as Beyonce Knowles' last name. And then Joe Blake, four huge, huge casting directors that cast TV commercials that use uh, Actors Access. They don't use LA Casting. All right, there's another one they use I'm about to mention right now which is Casting Frontier. It's another service. Your commercial agent is gonna say, hey, sign up for this service. Sign up for these three, LA Casting, Actors Access, and Casting Frontier. Now, here's the thing about Casting Frontier. First of all, again, the four CDs I just mentioned, commercial casting directors, they use Casting Frontier. But what's funny with Casting Frontier is, um, you know, they charge this kind of extra fee for extra additional pictures. So if I were you, I'd sign up to use just the basic Casting Frontier subscription. They're legitimate, not a scam, has nothing to do with that. It's just that some actors are coming back whining and complaining to me that this is getting pretty expensive, coach. I'm signed up on all these services. Which one is more important? So that's why I decided to do this lesson, right? If I were you, I would only use the, the basic service, right? Where you're not paying all these fees. Because when you start signing up and putting all these pictures up there, 
right? It's going to get expensive. So only put all the extra pictures up there and 10 and 15 pictures, right? Which you really don't need that many. I don't care what any agent tells you. You don't need to have 10 and 15 pictures up on your profile. But if your agent says do so and they almost demand it, okay, I guess I'll have to do it. But the expense uh, gets up there. And in any good top 50 legitimate agent is going to know you don't need the premium service on there. You don't because you probably already have additional pictures posted on L.A. Casting. Right. Anyway, and mostly everything goes through L.A. Casting, but as well, the four majors on uh, Actors Access and Casting Frontier as well. Right. But I wouldn't sign up for the premium premium service. All the 10, 15, 20 pictures on uh, Casting Frontier unless your agent say, says so. All right almost demands you to. Now casting. Best for theatrical only, if that. They've gotten a little better theatrically. I'm surprised they're still in business. Uh, and I don't really have anything against them, but I, I do say, I will say I had a kind of a feud with them, and I don't really know why. About five years ago, I went to try to advertise on their website my free classes. Not pay class, free class. And for some reason, they treated me really strange over there. The owner and the co-owner, whatever. Really, really weird. I gave them, I went there because they wouldn't return my call. I gave them my credit card. And I said, here, $500. How much is the ad? Dear, run the card. Well, um, we don't have a credit card machine here. Some nonsense. Or someone's not here. To, I said, you can accept the payment. Come on. You have the autonomy to accept the payment. Come on, right? And they wouldn't do it. And they have some issue with me. I used to be an agent in 2006. Maybe this is it. I used to be an agent in 2006, and I was still coaching. Now, according to the state, you're not supposed to do that. But see, I'm real bold. I do what I want. I'm a business owner. Uh, okay, I'm a trendsetter right? If it's illegal, come take me to jail. I want to teach and be an agent. I should be able to produce as much legal income as I can in this country so I can pay taxes and help our economy. Okay, but now casting. All right. So I would only use them for theatrical. Commercial, forget it. It's a joke. You know, now casting has a rich history here in Los Angeles. Uh, they used to be called LA Actors Online in 1991. They should be industry leaders in this industry. I shouldn't have mentioned LA casting first. It should have been now casting I should have been mentioning first. So for some reason over there in Burbank, I don't know where they are now, or maybe they're still in Burbank. For some reason they weren't really on top of it the way they should have been. Uh, maybe too much time uh, nitpicking with me. But now casting, only good for theatrical, forget about it for commercials. All right, Kaz T, I like to call it Kaz T. It's really cast, but I like Kaz T. Right. That's what I called it. A lot of people called it that when they first came out. Um, they're legitimate, not scam. I've had actors book jobs from them, but some actors don't like it that they try to get you to pay to see your audition. You'll go over there and audition, leave, and then you'll get an email. And they'll say, thank you for auditioning at Cast Studios. Right. And then they'll say, if you'd like to see your audition. So they sell you your audition performance. Which, okay, it's a business and all that. I understand I'm a business owner myself, right? And uh, it's not a scam. It's not illegal. But some actors feel like, hey, man, you're peddling auditions for a fee. And so, okay, that's what you will hear about them. But I have had some actors book jobs. I just don't know how important it is to sign up for the, pre the service or the premium service. I, some actors will sign up for one month just to see a couple of castings they've done at their facility. And then they'll cancel it before, you know, when the month is up. You know, and they'll just kind of pay for it as they go. And I, I'm sure they notice that. And uh, I guess it's like, hey, I mean, it's $40, $60, or whatever, right? I think it's like $19.99. You check it out yourself, CAZT.com. Just want you to be aware of it. Okay, I actor. Um, it's just, I don't think it's legitimate. If an agent's looking for you, first, they don't cast for my actor. Uh, I actor is nothing more than the old player's directory back from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, 2000. And then iActor is kind of a upgrade electronically of the player's directory. It's just not, it's just not, it's a waste of money. It really is. I mean, maybe it works for you. Maybe some of you are watching and you say, everything he says is wrong. Well, that's your experience. I've trained over 15,000 actors, right? So unless you've spoken with about 15,000 actors and come up with a consensus, um, you know, you can't say everything I'm saying is wrong in anything that I teach, right? Because I allow my clients to teach me. They ask me questions. I watch their journey. I'm their overseer, right? And the teacher should learn more than the student. Chinese proverb, 
right? So any good coach, any good teacher is going to say, I learned through observing my clients, right? So right, if I were you, no eye actor. It's just not important, okay? Test it yourself and see. Test everything, right? Lastly, IMDB Pro, way overrated, way overrated, right? I know you look up your stars and see he's done 120 films and all this kind of stuff, right? But for actors just starting up and along the way, and really any actor, it's, they don't cast from IMDB Pro. Coach Mike, what about the star meter? Who cares? You can get 20 of your friends to go check your profile out and your star meter goes up. Who cares, right? Someone may look at your star meter and look at your profile and all that, but if an agent, casting director, uh, uh, producer, director is really interested in booking you because of your skill level is great and they like your look, okay, you're gonna book. They're not gonna say, you know what, we're not gonna use them because their star meter's not good. Their star meter's not high enough. They don't have enough work on IMDB. Who, who had work on IMDB before they ever start producing work? That doesn't get you a job, how great your IMDb page is, right? So, I mean, there's people that have been around. Uh, I was watching an old episode of Six Million Dollar Man not long ago, right? And there's a woman on there, Elaine something. And it's like she's got like 75 TV and film credits, maybe even more. But, I mean, she doesn't work today. I'm sure if they called, she'd show up, right? But her IMDb page is full, right? She's got tons of credits, right? But no, maybe the look isn't what we want. Maybe we're looking for younger women or older men or younger men or who knows, right? You're not going to lose a job because my IMDb page isn't this and isn't that, right? So I just wanted to run these things by you because you can't waste money. You can't lose money, right? It's important that you understand there are some services out there that will just have you paying out. Some actors have all of these services right here. And they're paying $120, $30, $40, $50 a month on services, electronic services they don't need. So, but test everything. Check it out for yourself. If you see you are losing money, right, you need to make adjustments because that money is seed money. It's investment capital. Okay. Again, Coach Mike here with another brilliant lesson in the Coach's Corner. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, splendiferous rest of the day. And I look forward to the next lesson and seeing you there. Bye for now.